Each meeting, someone shares a personal story about what they're doing to try their best, uh, trying their best to improve themselves, their community, um, and so on. So today, we're going to hear from an assembler who's a SALA um, director, and uh, well, also Thanks, one of those people that's way cooler than I am, Amy Boyle. I don't know if I can live up to that, Phil. <laughs> Uh, hi, uh, I'm Amy, and uh, I've uh, been do organizing here for five years, and I've never done a trying our best, so um, it was time. Uh, so sometimes when my uh, mom Le wants to take me down a notch, she likes to remind me that while I was uh, always very bright as a child, I was a really late walker, and I don't <laughs> If you don't know, uh, on average, kids, uh, infants, start to walk with, when they're between 9 and 12 months old. Uh, and uh, my kids who were premature still walked at 10 and 11 months. Uh, and on babycenter.com, uh, they uh, remind you that if, if you're really worried about your child, don't worry. Uh, because some perfectly normal children don't walk until they're 15, even 16 months old. Uh, I took my first steps when I was 18 months. Uh, so the doctors, my parents were worried. They took me to the doctors uh, who said I checked out perfectly fine physically, that I just gotten stuck in the cruising phase, and I would uh, sidle around holding on to walls and clutching furniture completely ignoring the outstretched arms of the adults nearby and my parents' increasingly urgent <laughs> calls for me to uh, come, take my hand, <laughs> let me help you. <laughs> but I did not want any help. I was going to do it myself. <laughs> and, uh, and in some ways, that has changed, and in some ways, not so much. Um, so I still have fairly strong preferences, but I felt like I got a lot better asking for help. Uh, I think that happens to us when, when someone we love tells us what they need and we appreciate the trust and the strength you know, that, that, that's evident in that and it helps us not, not see that as weakness in ourselves. And uh, I basically ask for help professionally. We've been organizing this team of volunteers for a startup volunteer-driven nonprofit for five years. Uh, incidentally, we have two spots available on the talent committee right now where we vet uh, scout and vet talent. And if you're interested in that, we would love to hear from you. Um, but lately, I have been going through a, a thing, a medical thing. And uh, it's almost certainly been going on for years. Uh, it's been especially uh, evident the last 10 months or so. And like we all have our things. Uh, for me, this is, it just means a lot of, of migraines and uh, foot pain uh, that I thought was uh, just normal foot pain for a while, but is, is nerve pain that has now started in my hands. Um, and based on the blood work, it's probably autoimmune. And so far, it's just a lot of testing like, and a lot of waiting. Like, I'm probably fine. Um, it will probably get better. And um, it might even, there's, there's hope there, too, because I might be able to get back to activities that I thought that I had to give up a long time ago, like running and uh, martial arts, like really athletic sex. <laughs> 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 but more than anything, it's, it's so much time. Like there's so these giant blocks, like metropolitan city blocks of time spent arguing with insur insurance companies and getting MRIs and going to doctor's appointments and making doctor's appointments and waiting in between doctor's appointments and waiting in pharmacy lines. It's just 
it's, un, it's unpredictable. I don't, I don't know what kind of time that I have. So I'm getting better at asking people for help because um, I'm getting a lot more experience and I'm gaining a lot of empathy for people who have dealt and are dealing with uh, much more difficult things and are doing it much more bravely. But like having and accepting extra limitations means that I have to lean hard sometimes on my friends and my family. And that you have to ask for help over and over again. And sometimes you don't know if you're going to be able to make it up to someone and you don't, sorry. And sometimes you have to take help from people who don't really want to give it. And it, I'm learning a lot, <laughs> um, but I don't have as many resources to give as I would like even for the things that I really care about. Uh, for five years, the only Sunday assembly that I missed was the ninth one um, because I was giving birth and I thought that would be a really awkward icebreaker. Uh, I have asked most of my friends to speak, thank you. Uh, I have asked all of my friends to volunteer, Th thank you. <laughs> um, and I've tried to turn just about every play date and a holiday celebration into a Sunday assembly event. Uh, brought my family to Sunday assembly and um, Sunday assembly is my family. And we have this incredible team of leaders and volunteers but the director's the one who has to catch the balls, like the one who can't say no. And I can't do it, at least for a little bit. Like I am not strong enough and I need help. So my plan is um, to take a little time a little step away until the conference in May um, and then come back hopefully in June and just focus on getting better and spend a little more time with my kids before they start school in July. And I'll still be here as a resource. I just want to shift the center of my universe a little bit and make some more space for me. Uh, this community is really strong. It's in really good hands. It has a solid board with some of the best people I've ever worked with and an amazing community, full-time community organizer, Ryan Trout, who is super competent and has my back always. Um, and some of those strong preferences that I mentioned earlier might make space for uh, some new ideas and different innovations. Uh, I just... I have to let go of the walls for a little bit and, and stop clutching at the furniture. And so I'm just asking for your help in understanding, um, especially those of you who have helped so much because I know this is asking for more. And I see you and I appreciate you. And I'm asking if, if you can for just a while say yes, if you're able um, to help. I'm Amy, and I definitely don't have it figured out uh, yet, but I am trying my best. I love you guys. <laughs>